All right, so this is going to be bumpy for a little bit. Uh, I haven't live streamed in for like ever. And also, this is my right hand. Oof. I've been looking up <clears throat> some uh, pieces to play on the berry. No, my guys, such a delay. No, my guys, such a delay. But it seems to be good. I'm just watching myself. But it seems to be good. I'm just watching myself. Uh oh, it's gonna like echo. Uh. Okay, get off of that so I don't get confused listening to myself. Uh, two people. I know one of them's me. Like I said, I'm not really good with live stream. It's been forever since I've had a live stream. And that's when I had really crappy internet. I mean, the internet's not really that good now. I mean, it is. I don't know. Nope, go back down to me. I think I'm alone. Oh, hey. Somebody liked it. Well, hello. Well, goodbye. <laughs> I, I don't know. So I'm looking up sheet music to play on the Barry and stuff. Um, hopefully I don't get copyrighted and then the live stream will end. But I know that at least two people's asked me already to play the Barry. Uh, I hope live chat works. But yes, I'm kind of looking on what I could play. I used to play piano too. That's not how Barry sounds. Baby. 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 I didn't know they made one for Barry. I will warn if anybody is watching, which I don't think there is. I haven't played my berry in a while, so like this kind of gives me an excuse to play it. I hope my band teacher ain't on my YouTube because she would whip me. My computer's also a mess. Baby. Don't get me copyrighted, please don't. I don't want to get copyrighted. No, baby. All right, so it seems like I could probably play this, but I don't have piano on my side. So I might play it with the recording. This is, I'm finding all this on Muse. Oh God, it's been a while. Music score. We, um, we, uh, use this during school to find songs. Um, yeah. 
Uh, some of these are copyrighted. Why is my skin glowing? Son, why are you doing this to my face? I don't know. My face is like yellow. I'm clean. <clears throat> I'm just talking to myself. Uh, this is uh, Put Your Head on My Shoulder from Paul Ankin. And, oh, Lord, my band teacher would whip me. And arranged by seeing Sean, Jack would be mad, McCaffrey. Hey, you can see a little bit. But, uh, I have to hold it like this, apparently. Uh, but basically, this is what the screen looks like for me. Uh, it's been a while since I played. Uh, so I might be rusty and like, start over. But I can definitely play the berry for the live stream. Uh, if you... Well, I know when people watch this, I might have had it too early in the morning. Sorry. Uh, but I got a like. Uh, it might have been too early in the morning. I don't know if people are still on spring break. I actually, since I hit 100, I kind of know what my audience is now. A lot of y'all are female. Hey, we got the girls squad coming. Uh, but like I can tell like where people are and I have a lot of people from Mexico. If I go down to Mexico one day, will I be famous? People will be like, I know you. I have to take my best friend with me then because I don't know Spanish at all. But, uh, uh I didn't hit it, I promise. All right, so this is my berry. Uh, maybe I should scoot this so I'm constantly looking at y'all. Okay, yeah, this is better. I can make eye contact. This is my berry. I bought it. Uh, bought about, how long have I had this? July. July should be about a year since I've had my berry. Uh, that's probably why that one person, I don't know who that one person was. Sorry. I hope, uh, my, if I don't have anybody for an hour and stuff, you know, I'm only going to try to go for, for an hour for this live stream to celebrate the big 100. But, uh, I mean, you can watch it afterwards, I guess, but ouch, uh, I have bought this with my own money. It cost me about a thousand dollars, which is sort of cheaper for a berry see this ain't the oh i can actually fit it in it well if i back all right here's the berry without the neck on it this is my berry uh very pretty i got a lot of keys uh i hope i don't like hurt the microphone of me playing this is called the neck this is the curly cue uh, this is how you can uh, tell what the berry is. See, the tenor and alto, which I have an alto, but it's buried. It's on the shelf, but it's it's like right there. Uh, so the tenor, if you have it like this and stuff, the tenor necks go like that. So it's not the curlicue at all, it's just noodle. Uh, the alto goes straight. It's like that. Uh and see I played alto for marching band and I played this for concert and went on Salmo. I never got the chance to play my own berry with the band because uh about a you know a year ago the coronavirus started and March 12th was my last day and it was my senior year. So I got to play the school's berry for um our um concert and that was about it. But, uh, Vegas. Yeah. But, uh, here, here's, I'm holding up my legs. Here's the mouthpiece. I remember having troubles with the ligature, which is this. God, I hope I don't wake nobody. That'd be bad. Uh, you stink. This is my chest strap. It's about to fall on me. 
I'm going to try to play Put Your Head on My Shoulder with the Barry, but with the recording. I hope you can hear the recording. Ah, it's been forever. I remember being in middle school and I was so, I was not as flexible and I wasn't used to the chest strap. I think I've had this thing since uh, middle school. Uh, I had had a bandmate of mine help me put it on. Tell you what, that bandmate, I always hunt him down because I was like, oh my gosh, I like him and stuff. He's so cool. He's like the most popular kid in our grade. And I was like, can you put on my chest strap? And he's like, sure. And he like wrapped around me. I'm like, oh, you know, the middle school drama. Well, it didn't last. The minute we hit high school, bloop. That went out the door. And ninth grade was like the only grade I didn't hunt for somebody. Oh, this is the neck, by the way. See, altos are like this, except they're a little bit... They have something on top right here. I think altos are probably as big. It's been a while since I even looked at it. I'm sorry. If I have a lot more people on the live stream, then I might pull out the auto, but it's only me right now. I had someone come charming in and I think I know who that was. Oh yeah, I need to do this. This is chat not chapstick. No. This is corkscrew. Cork cork shield. Oh it's new. Uh a lot of people is mistaken this as chapstick. We used uh the mean alto, uh, mean saxophones and clarinets always like go to middle school and be like, sure, this is chapstick, totally. And jinx the kids. But basically, you put it on the cork, which is right here. So, uh, because this helps keep your mouthpiece on. And if you don't keep it lubricant or keep it moist with this stuff, um, then, uh, it breaks and stuff. I've had my alto break a couple times on me. I've had the berry. Uh, it sometimes went inside of the instrument, and that's a big no-no. Yeah. But we used to uh, be like, yeah, totally. This is like uh, chapstick. Do you need some? And kids are like, oh, my God, yes. My lips are so chapped. And ha, uh, they fell victim to our trap. <laughs> It smells weird. I haven't had this in the shop yet since I've got it. Yeah, I haven't had it in there since I've got it. Uh, when I first got it, though, I definitely did clean the mouthpiece and stuff. I got this because it was in good, very good condition. This is a read. Uh -huh. um, see, with uh, playing with things, I got to put this up on me. Uh, if you're eating or drinking, the only thing you, be, you should be drinking before you start playing your instrument is water. And not open it on top of it because if the pads get wet and stuff that can hurt the instrument bad and also water helps out with your mouth and stuff like that and the water is good for you now warning it has been a while Oh, yeah, and the other thing, too, uh, when I got to see, like, what my audience is, I'm glad I got people over the age. I got, it said, like, I got from 18 to 24. So, and it's mostly y'all girls, so. Hmm. I got to get a different ligature for this thing. 
I don't see the ligature. It's supposed to go down further on the reed, and it's not. There is hacks that you can do. One is just taking the screw off, but I don't want to. Um, if I've noticed, uh, it affects with your tone when you play. Uh, people's put rubber bands around like the mouthpiece and the reed. A musical. Uh, people's done that and like made as tight as they could. All right, that might have to be good enough because I can't. Uh, I can't really get it all the way down. I had to death tune myself. Well, I gotta warm it up. Tuning itself basically helps it. Uh, Sound better. So when you're like with a bunch of people and stuff, you don't sound like crap. But you gotta just everything. Oh my god, it's been a while. Do not wake up. So, yeah. There I there's a video. It needs to be wished. Or probably put in the shop. Yeah. See, your armature yeah. Yeah, this thing. Any, I'm just, I'm out of training of it. So it sounds like horse shit. I can cuss because I know who my audience are now. Uh. <laughs> Hello. I got two people. I don't want me. Hello. I have a feeling I know who that is. Uh, hello. I got cork grease or cork fuck fuck. It's been a while. <laughs> Spit it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I gotta find a where I can tune this baby. Of course, I'm too far away. <laughs> tune. Tuner! Give me tuner. I want tuna. Tuner. Online instrument tuner. Yes. Stop. Yes, you can have my microphone. Hello. Okay. Uh. Is about to fall off the neck. It's reading as an A. I'm an F. Sharp. Oh my God. This is why you should practice. It doesn't matter if you graduate or not. Well, unless you have a job and stuff, but you try to at least practice. 
crap. I am not playing. Wait. Allow. Tuner for Barry saxophone. Baymate tuner. Oh, come on. <sighs> hey, at least I got this now. Alexa, play non copyright music. Non copyright collected from Spotify. I hope y'all can hear that. All right, hang on. Alexa, turn up the volume. Hope it's not loud. Damn Damn. Got this. I play. I use this during band. Downloading a tuner. I need a tuner. Hey, that's in two. Alexa, pause. I'm so cool. I'm actually in tune. What the heck? You like? Who's texting me? Stop! I'm doing a live stream. I knew it. Okay, uh, I'll make an ex exception for him, my buddy. All right, what did he want me to play? I should do it for you, my buddy. Play Lost Words. Lost Words. Search Lost Woods. Piano. Oh, Legend of Zelda. Okay. Uh, do they have it in Barry? Do you have it in Barry? Oh, man. What is. Oh, I've heard this one before. Made it full screen. Ah. All right. Uh, see if I can. Oh God, I don't have nothing to practice. I will make an exception with my change joke. Oh my God, it's heavy. Ugh. I have to take it off. 
Backus. Why? Don't hurt it. Alright, All right. just fair warning, I haven't played in forever, but I'm in tune. Wait, I'll try to play along with it. Yeah, I want to play. Play! Play cunt! Fine. Oh, I might have to slow it down. I might have to definitely slow it down. I wasn't one of those smart kids that could sight read really fast, so. Oh lord, what was that note again? Uh, okay. Uh. It's been a while! I'm in tune. Go back to my tune. It says I'm in tune. What the hell? Yeah, I'm where I need to be. All right, so it's in tune. I just suck. And uh, also, make sure you um, think I'm pointing right. Well, for me, the live uh, the live chat's right here. So if you have any, uh, whatever, I hate doing live streams. Ugh. It's been a while, my lips are gonna hit me. for piano and I'm playing it on the berry so I probably should be doing this but hey I can read it starting to come back. I can survive through a whole pandemic, but I can't survive pollen. Stop it. Brian. Hello. Bruh. 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 <laughs> I'm doing... It goes like that. Huh? It goes like this. It goes like this. I'm doing it slower. 
goes like that. I'm purposely doing it slower because I'm sight reading it. You can you can do it slower, but like, what notes are you playing for it? <sighs> the first one is an E for me, and then uh, an A, and then a B. It's an F. I think it's an F. Yeah, the first note is an F. Well, here's this. Shut up, TikTok. So, F, A, B. That? Yeah. You liar! Wait. I'm not a... Yes, this is a liar. <gasps> no! I've been, okay, yeah, that's what it says. I just... <laughs> I was about to say, that doesn't sound right. Well, thank God you're the only person watching the live stream. No, there's another person I saw. There was two people. Uh, it's me. It, it just puts me down. Huh. He's showing off. Yeah, that sounds better. That's better. Hey, he... You know, I was I think you could do the main theme really well, like the main theme for Legend of Zelda, where it goes like, I can't do it on live, but it goes like, <laughs> do, 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 you know what I'm talking about? The main theme? I'm on music score, so this is what I got to watch. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I used to. Uh, yeah, so like, after you do the... You go to, uh, what is this? E? You go to the higher E? Yeah. Yeah. And then it's B, C, B. And, uh, you see, that point where it goes up, it's a F, A, B, E, D, which is the high E, D. And then B, C, B, G, E. Where did yeah, it go? So... He's teaching me how to music because I forgot how to music. You forgot how to music me too, did I don't think I played since I don't know when it how long it's been wait. I did the tree lighting thing with my band not too long ago. God that I mean, is I... huh? And wearing this the liar. Yeah. Uh, I can't, thank God you like, because if I had more people, they'd be like, you're doing it wrong, the sound's wrong. God, that's an F, not an E. Why did you think it was an F? Dude, I literally woke up at 9 o'clock, took a cold shower to wake myself up for the rest, and waited to 10 o'clock to do this live stream. I haven't ate at all. I've just memorized a whole bunch of, like, Zelda songs, like, uh, Partially because my friends requested me to. Uh, this one's a really short one. It's really stupid, but. That's it. But, uh. <laughs> I know, right? But, uh. Oh, that yeah. Was the oh, Did you notice was, like, that I'm still doing the live stream and you're, like, in the background talking? Yes, I am. Because I'm, I'm going to teach you a whole bunch of songs. Oh, Lord. You wait till 34 minutes into the live stream, and I only plan to do this for an hour. Okay, what Okay, what are you going to play? What are you going to play? I was going to wait till anybody tells me what to play. All right, so I told you to play Lost Boy and see you finish that. Okay, I'll finish it when I actually figured out what notes I was playing. Ah. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, oh my god, what's that note? 
Oh, and then it goes now. I okay. Yeah, then it goes at me to make me realize I was missing an F and not an E. Come on, dude. I was like, I was like, it doesn't sound quite right. So I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll have it. I embarrassed myself. This is going to be on my channel for the rest of my life. And people be like, ha, a loser. Uh, <laughs> eh. Oh my God. <laughs> uh. <laughs> It, like it'll like have like so this has like a little drum part of it so oh. like i'll hit it'll how i play the song is i'll go like this <laughs> You've had a lot more practice than me. I literally just looked at this for 20 minutes now. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit more practice. A little. Don't you dare fall asleep on me. My screen was falling asleep. I'm doing this off my iPad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. What I keep doing is I keep putting down more fingers than I need to. Gotcha. Yeah. <sighs> so. <laughs> That's a C, not an A. Oh, yeah. So, since this is going to be on my channel forever, this is my friend. He's showing off. <laughs> uh, we've been good buddies for oh, probably over four years. Sometime around like 2017, 18, probably. Um, see, me and my boyfriend got together in 17, and I knew you before then. So it's, I think it's 2016. That's crazy. We go way back. Yeah. All because we got interested in anime and decided to go on the app. And we're like, hi. It wasn't anime for me. It was Steven Universe. <laughs> I wasn't on that. Where did we even meet? I think it was like a fairy uh, thing. I mean, honestly, I actually don't remember. I don't know how we met. I know, like, you know, I don't know where we met. I just remember, like, like my whole experience with that app is, like, I joined because one of my favorite YouTubers who talked about Steven Universe, he was like, yeah, you can follow me on this. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. So I followed him. And then, like, it slowly, like, devolved from there where I just joined a whole bunch of places. So, like... Yeah, I, yeah. Can't, I can't remember why I got on the app, but I got it on for fairy tale and then Inuyasha. And then I just started meeting a lot of friends. And uh, then it went downhill from that. Not, you know, it was that stage where I was hitting puberty. So I was curious about everything. <laughs> and I was like, 
well, let me go on this adult one and be like, I'm totally an adult when I was like 14. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of problems with that app. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I remember getting someone off of off of there and be like, let's be friends on Facebook. And like, that's when I found out he was like 50 some years old. And I'm like, oh, I thought you were my age. He's like, no, sweetheart. I tricked you. And I'm like, ah. so I blocked him. So he's forever on my block list. Oh my gosh. Dude, he was huge too. I'm like a little girl that's just hitting puberty. And he's like, I want to see what's under your clothes. I'm like, mommy. No, he. Oh my god! If I uh, I can't go back because the chat's been deleted. But yeah, <laughs> it, it was. Yeah, no, I deleted my account on there like a while back. See, Maybe like, I think it might be like a year or two ago is when like I finally like got off that, and then like slowly like I won't not this past year but the year before that I slowly just got off everything like that. Yeah, I uh before I left I uh. When I was on there, I actually made two really good best friends. One drew pictures with me. Like, he had an OC. It was, like, um, kind of like an alien thing. But it was, like, uh, a wasp. It was alien part wasp something. But he was a hell of a good drawler. I forgot his name. It started with a K. And uh, we would role play and stuff. And he was really friendly. And he was like, first off, I need to know how old you are. And I'm like, I'm 14. He's like, okay, so... uh. No liking me is the first ground rule. I'm like, but I like you. He's like, stop it. And uh, we, he's like, I can be your friend, but that's all I can go. I'm over the age. So this is no, no square for me. Yeah. So then he left all suddenly and I never got to hear from him again. And then I had another friend who's over the age. She basically said the same thing. I'm like, I'm a girl. I don't like girls. And she's like, okay, cool. And she left out of nowhere. Uh, she was having stress in her life. And months and months, I, like, texted the chat, be like, are you back and stuff? I miss you. And right before I deleted it for good, I left my phone number on there, like, if they ever got back. So. Yeah. Well, like, dude. So, like, it, being on, uh, you know, it was just super unhealthy. But, but, like, I recognize that. But, like, one of the problems for me was that, like, I always had, like, this, like, fear that, like, if I left, the people who, like, left me would come back and then I wouldn't be there. Like, I always had that fear in the back of my head and that was, like, that, like, drove my anxiety up to, like, a 10. So, like, I felt like I could never leave. And then one day I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to leave my phone. I'm not going to do all this. I've got to, I've got to get out. And then and that was really hard. I did still, I, I do still, like you, I do still have like a few friends that I still keep in contact with. Yeah. Uh, mostly the ones from, I, I was on a fantasy one, mostly the ones from there. I got, I think, see, I had three, including you, that I got on Facebook. I, one, I talked a little bit, and I remember texting him up in, like, Winchester, where I live. Well, near where I live. And I remember, like, saying, I'll get back with him. And I had his number, but he never replied back. So, I don't know. One, the other one, his I always called him Gabe. I got him on Facebook. And, uh, man... <laughs> He was the other, like, I liked him when I started out, and I definitely didn't have my boyfriend yet. And I was like, I like you, and I was role-playing, like, I gave him a ring to propose, and he was like, no, no, um, like, for real, like, in real life, we can't do this. I like yeah. someone in Florida, and I'm like, oh, the betrayal! <laughs> and... Yeah, it's... That was not the healthiest place to, like, <laughs> do stuff like that. Like, it was bad. Yeah, no, that wasn't good. I didn't like it. Retrospectively, it was bad. It was Dude. bad. Dude, so the uh, right before I got rid of it and stuff, and right before me and my boyfriend started dating, I had a guy on there that I was dating. And, uh, you know, we'd see each other pictures, so I knew what he looked like. And 
Well, then I learned that he lived in the same state as me, and we was talking about meeting up one time. Well, then I started like talking to my man and I was like, uh oh, like I feel like I'm going to cheat on him. And so I was like, I went back and I'm like, hey, you know, we're long distance. This ain't going to work. You need to find someone else. I'm so sorry. Psych. And I like broke his heart because he was like really into me. And I was like, no, I'm, you're never going to see me. Leave me alone. Oh. And yeah. I got occasionally back on there and I was like, hi, so how's been, how's life? And he's like, this is awkward to talk to you because I actually was in love with you. I'm like, the feeling was not mutual. Wow. Other than like a select few, like group of friends, like, Everyone on that app was just not good for me. Yeah. I I got myself in such a lot of trouble. I uh I remember the one like it was one of the last perverts and stuff. He was like, I want to see your butt. So I was like, okay. I went on to the web because I had a touch screen by then. I went on to the web and stuff, and I'm like looking up booty pics, and I'm like, all right, this looks like my skin color and stuff. Like, this is totally could be my butt, you know, perfect bubble butt. And I sent it to, I was in school too, so I was like, you don't see what I'm doing. I sent it to him, and he's like, oh, yes, I should pay you money. I'm like, do it. It's not in my pictures. I made sure there was no watermarks or anything to make it look like it was mine. <laughs> well, uh, then he was like, all right, so um, I know you were faking. And I'm like, whatever do you mean? He's like, that ain't you. And I'm like, that's totally me. He's like, I found it on the web. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> and he was like, all right, I got to go because you you how you're texting you sound underage i'm like maybe because i am he's like oh lord and you like got rid of me dude that's like that was on Omi uh not omigo uh uh amino yeah yeah dude that's crazy why are you on amino doing that stuff that, that I was raging hormones. I wouldn't know what things look like, so I went exploring for myself. Not you. I'm wondering why there are other people on there who are so, overage who should like know about that stuff. That's why where are you they get on? your sugar daddies. That's toxic, dude. The whole app is toxic. Like that's supposed to be a place. For, like I, th I'm pretty sure that's just like so that there can be anime communities, and it just completely devolved. Oh yeah, I'm a sexy demon with my tail curled with horns, four horns. You know, someone describing their OC and you're just there like, can we continue with the role play? And they're like, but I have some big poppers and big ass and stuff. I'm so, it's worse as Among Us now. Each, <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest, I've never like, it's never been that bad for me. Like it's never been like where someone stopped to like, go full detail it was mostly like like yeah no that's crazy that's crazy. i it, that ain't bad for me i had worse i had a like, lot worse i agree and i don't even care to speak about the worst yeah well well whoever watches this much of the live stream when it's done and stuff they're probably like Oh shit, they write because a lot of people can totally like remember how toxic it was. But it's 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 as bad as a Among Us. You know, Among Us is that like mobile game. And each time I get on it, it's like, I wanna fuck. Let's go to admin and like fuck. And and they're like, okay, I'm single. Hey, really? Yes. I haven't been on there in a while. But I like, have okay. I took this screenshot earlier. I don't know. You know, the phrase sex sells is like the truest name ever, but I hate it. I don't like it. I'll get into that later. I'll get into, maybe someday I'll get into that. But I don't like that. Um, I Especially when it's stuck late to like children game. 
your uh, internet. Well, I saw an ad, uh, an ad on YouTube. And I just what's it? Your internet's starting to get a little fry. All right, I'll make it quick then. I'll make it quick then. Uh, it, it, goes, it goes good and then it don't. It's like, you'll be like going great, frames are great, and also it's like you pause and all of a sudden you're like jerking. <laughs> I was on YouTube and there was an Among Us ad. I'm pretty sure it was a scam ad. I'm pretty sure it didn't lead you to the actual like Among Us app or whatever. But like, it was like, it looked like Among Us, but then there was like this one teen character that was like fully like anthropomorphized like like they had like arms and legs and everything and they're like they were throwing their butt on the the uh button and i'm just like why is this a thing dude so true story when i was playing among us and stuff i i uh a lot of the like kids were like you know i'm so horny i'm like i'm alone horny it's dark in my room and stuff and i'm like out of curiosity how old are a majority of you and they answered back like 13 or 11. That's the saddest part. Like, like if I could go back to my young self, I would like protect my young self with my life. I'd be like, okay, you're not going on. You're not going on there. Hi, <sighs> don't listen to them. They you're don't know what they're there. talking about. All this other stuff. It's, it's insane. Exactly. And you know, that's, the whole cancel culture too like whoever the group of people are like that i'm sure they're like young kids like that and i'm over here like if i ever become a mom my kids ain't gonna be a stranger for butt weapons like they're gonna know them and like in touch screens Dude, I might, I, yeah i might have to raise my family amish so that like they're not going to be exposed to any of that on the line. Like, they can, I'll have to obviously expose them to it, like, have them understand what that is, but I can't do it, like, at such a young age that, like, that becomes a problem. Because, like, dude, I would protect myself in my life, like, if I could go back in the time and, like, ugh. Yeah, it, it's so insane. And my dad even says, like, I seen a video of this little girl screaming, and her mom's like, you better stop or take your toys away. And, you know, back then, I would have definitely stopped. You know, toys were life for me. And, uh, well, the kid kept screaming. And so the mom's like, I'll cut off the Wi-Fi. The kid immediately stopped screaming. I'm like, bro, no. No. <laughs> and I'm like, that that's insane. A kid shouldn't be more worried about the Wi-Fi than their own toys. Heck, I still have... Yeah. I still have teddy bears, and if anything happened to them, I'm going to cry. I don't have any, like, I've got, okay, I do have a stuffed animal box in, in my closet of, like, my old stuffed animals. An old stuffed animal uh, box. I, I don't ever, well, like, it's, I, I call it, it's just a box full of my stuffed animals that I used to uh, use when I, when I was little. Um, just but, a box like, in there, like, you get a girlfriend, she comes over, what's this box? Don't open it. It's sacred items. It's a small box. It's like a shoe box. It's, I just do all my stuffed animals, like like three stuffed animals that like were like my favorite when I was little. I, I put them up there. I don't know. Memories, memories. I've got a memory box too. Also shoe box. I need to find um, like a box to put a memory box in because I have a lot of things. But yeah. Other than that, though, like the stuffed animals, I don't really have like a lot of toys still from when I was younger. Like a lot of my like like Legos was the biggest thing for me, and I eventually got to the point where I gave them all to my younger brother. Yeah, I'm gonna expose myself. This is Scrappy. Yeah, she's in a toddler outfit. Uh, she's very old. She's like about. 12 years old and I've slept with her every single night. I cannot fall asleep without her. I am totally 19, but I have to sleep with her. That's sweet. Yeah, I, the other week I found out that uh her uh her fur is starting to separate somewhere on her forehead. It's already matted over. I freaked out. I didn't care what time it was. I called my grandma and I was like, "Nana, her her fur, something's happening. She's 
dying. What do I do? And she's like, uh, let me just see it. So, so I drove over and I was like, Nana, look at my bear. And she's like, oh, like, honey, you might have to like put her up on the shelf to like preserve her. And I'm like, and I literally legit start crying. Just the thought of like her sitting there on the shelf just chilling and me just being in bed like I can't sleep come here dude you totally just exposed yourself who's gonna watch <laughs> into 55 minutes of the live stream after it's done dude that's my favorite thing to do I love going to small youtubers and looking at their live streams that are over an hour long <laughs> America's favorite pastime. Yeah, I I don't have a lot of people watching all of my videos like throughout. Since I hit 100, which haha, someone called me. Someone was just calling me. I might have to switch you to my iPad in case. <gasps> yeah, I might have to switch you to my iPad. Sounds good. I don't want to add my mobile number. All right, I'll see you in a second. This live stream just turned out to be me talking to my best friend. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, there we go. Oh my God, you sound a lot better on the iPad. Put you back over here. I don't know why, but with the iPad, the camera makes my like skin look so yellow. Yeah, I was gonna say, but like, it, I don't know what the camera does, but it's different. But it is, but my skin looks super orange right now, or like super tan. Are you Donald I am Trump? Like not, I'm talking I to the legendary Donald Trump. My skin is so orange. It's more orange than anyone. Um, but it's because I have these lights. They're not even orange lights, but like, I'm like, not like, I guess this is the best representation of my skin right now because it's not that like yeah. You I'm, see like, my yeah. true colors? Whoa. My true colors. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh I have LED lights, so they're a little bit better. They don't show the orange tint. Well, okay, they kinda do. I am bright, motherfucker. I think I'll just end the live stream for at one hour because people's going to come back and if they reach this far, they'd be like, who is she talking to? And just hear your voice chime in and then your bird just like, ha! Oh, yeah. I, I forgot. Yeah. I don't even recognize. I do recognize my birds being loud, but like I just tune out at this point. So <laughs> other people are like, is that a bird? I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess I do. Oh, yeah. But, like the minute we start video chatting, the bird's like, ha! I'm here! I shall be the star of the show. She's like, I never ended up changing her name. Her name is still Arlo, just because like that just worked easier. But, but like Bella, <laughs> I. It's too late now. If I if I get another bird, I'll probably be naming them Bella. But don't matter now, if it's a guy. It has to be Bella. I know. It ha no, no. If it's a guy, it's not gonna be Bella. I can't name a guy Bella. I can't do that to him. Sure you can. It'd be unique. Huh. It would certainly be unique, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, this my bird. His name is Bella. His? Like, that would be weird. That would be weird. We just talked. We, we, instead of me doing my live stream for hitting 100 and playing my bear like my mom wants me to, uh, we just, uh, all right, it became into two friends chatting and stuff. And what everybody sees on my YouTube is just me. Honestly, I think this is your fault. I always thought play Lost Wood. You just said no. What? I told you to play Lost Woods and you said no. I did play it. I don't think you played it to its entirety. Well, my berries already put away. I screenshotted it, so it's on my gallery. You put your, uh, what is it? You put your berry away? Yes. Man. Do you even know any Minecraft songs? No! There you go, people. There's your music. Played by 
Ryan. Hey. Yes. Ah! Your name's Ryan. Yes. All right. All right. Whoever comes this far into the video, I know my friend's name is just with the uh, role play we was talking about. Um, I called him by another name, which I fucked up the name for years, so I call him Kahu, and that's not how you pronounce it. Wait, what would you call me? Kahu. Yeah, I thought that's what it was. I thought that's what it was. That's what it looked like it sa uh, says to me. But I think you corrected I, me last time we video chatted. I, I called it, like, Kahu. Like, you, you like, I don't know if you pronounce it, you go, like, who? I would always just say Kahu. Yeah, I, I have an accent. I'm a small town girl. I have an accent. Ah! My thing ain't shutting right. I've noticed, like, on a lot of my uh, videos, I usually just say, like, y'all, and a lot of people don't say y'all. Oh, we had a, a one hour of me live streaming of doing literally nothing. We are in one hour, and she still has yet to play the song. I played it. You played it, but not like you played it in parts. You play like all the way through. That's called do. sight reading. Um, you're on my iPad. I am on the iPad. It's called just sight do, reading. Do it from memory. Just do it from memory. Sure, I'll do it by memory. Ah. I'm holding this wrong. He's showing off. Kahoo's going to take over my channel. Put it away. Put what away? My bag. You should take it back out. Do you not understand? My lips are dead. I played. You should have just chimed in earlier to tell me what to play. And now 30 some minutes into the live stream. I was thinking show at the time. This is vibrating against something. Oh, yeah. Oh, when I was wait. playing when I was playing my berry and stuff, I noticed that uh, some air was leaking out where it shouldn't be leaking. So that's affecting my uh, playing. I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. Like, normally it'll be like if something's like draped over the sound box, uh, it'll start vibrating because it's touching the sound box like a string or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, right now, I'm wondering if it's the Telemon, that's what's connected to the hand. But like, this is on the arm of it, so I don't know what it is. But that's all right. It still sounds good. We're just figuring out things. Well, it's been an hour and three minutes since I started this live stream. Whoever makes it this far, good job. You have been probably officially bored. I haven't ate a single item of food yet. Same. So I need to do that, and that's why I put away half, why I put away my berry. But I totally did play. She didn't play the song that was requested over though. I went okay. through it all in parts. I Let screenshotted it so I can practice on it. And I could probably do it right. my alto. So if the next video isn't um is it Lost Woods, a Lost Woods cover on the uh is it alto? Or what? baritone? If I do a video uh playing for alto sax. I don't know. I don't know how it sounds on alto. It might sound better on alto because uh, originally when oh. I'm playing it off, it's piano. Well, regardless, if if the next video you put out is not a cover of Lost Woods on either of those instruments, then your entire reputation will be ruined for the rest of your life. I have a video already scheduled to publish tomorrow for because my... You're gonna have to rush it then. You're gonna have to rush this this cover. You're gonna have to figure it out by the end of the day. Can I just do it on wait, I have another video scheduled on Monday. I mean, that's great and all, but like I mean, I, I don't really care, right? It's your reputation, you know. It'll go in your resume that like You've been the only person watching the live stream. 
Yeah, I'm like, I'll make, I'll find your employer. I'll be like, listen, you know this whole cancel culture thing. Look at this. She didn't even finish Lost Woods from like Gonzalo. Hi, and then I'm not that mom. big. You'll be canceled. He's threatening me. Look, no, it's, it's the play on the live stream is because you can't get easily copyrighted on a live stream. If you Fair make if, if you make right, a so video designated, even if I put the title and put the credit for the person in it, they're like, that's still wrong. You should be copyrighted. And there was plastic on my berry. Uh, and also uh the video that's gonna be posted tomorrow uh it's kind of like a music video and it seems like a lot of people like those videos on my channel like the uh inuyasha ones i have over two thousand views on one okay so here's the thing you you put out the video but then you also do a live stream right after it has to be like before in between your next video that you're gonna put out and the one after that, yes, put on a live stream where you uh, play uh, Lost Woods through its entirety. That's tomorrow at nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah, you got a lot of work ahead of you. And uh, I mean, yeah, no, it has to be Lost Woods. Nothing else will do. Oh my God. Do you just want me to whip out the auto now? I'm still having the yeah. live stream going. You can if you want to, but oh, like now, said, now he's giving me choice. <laughs> I, I've always given you a choice. You said you didn't want to do it anymore. Uh, so, like, because the berry's a little bit difficult and it don't sound right, and I don't have the lung your, capacity at the moment. Where's your alto? It's buried. It's buried. Go get it. <laughs> Why is there a rod? I have a very messy room. Hands with uh, the sun north. Ooh, what's all this? Oh, my chops are really going to be dead after this one. <sighs> oh my god, I forgot. Oh my god. Ah! What did you forget? Uh, I put a mustache on my alto. You put a mustache on it? I put a mustache on my alto. That's funny. Yes. He is left. Now this needs to go into the shop. Oh, I forgot I had this. This needs to go into the shop. So I can't promise it's going to be good. What do you mean? Why is that to go to the shop? We, usually after March band season, I put my alto in the shop because, you know, sometimes it needs uh, a checkup. See, that berry, which is right here, eh, since I've gotten it, it has yet to go in the shop. Just to check to see if it's okay. Sir, what the hell? Oh, that's chipped. I need a good read. That's chipped too. Why is all the reads chipped? Okay. The only read I got that's not chipped. <sighs> Man, this is going to sound like horse crap. Maybe. Maybe. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, yeah. So the weird thing about this mouthpiece for my alto, I don't think you can see it, but there's like a groove right there on the mouthpiece. Uh, so that's where my buck teeth sits. When I first got this alto, 
which I got it at a pawn shop. Uh, mm -hmm. It was like that, sort of. And then just four years of marching band and me just resting my buck teeth there. It's kind of just, I'm going to literally snap it one day. Quite possible. Oh, God. That's a lot better to play. I'm sorry, Barry. But we cannot be no more. <sighs> okay, uh, hmm. Ah! Oh. I'm so here. Hello. I'm going to send this to my. I took a screenshot of the music sheet. Send it to myself. Get back on here. Ah! Stop it. My dad's going to be like, hey, uh, have you uh, done any chores? And I'd be like, totally not. You can see what I've been doing. There it is. All right. Oh my God. I haven't tuned this either, too, so it might sound bad. start feeling it. It's a lot better on alto. <laughs> oh my god. See, the problem is, it's a little bit smaller on my computer screen, and I have to sit away so I don't blast the crap out of my live stream. Oh, I got yeah. <laughs> heavy and scrap it easy. Like huh? It looks like it. It is. There's a hairband in here. Hell yes. Look, I'm so rich, people. I'm so rich. It is so heavy. <laughs> My acting skills. <laughs> Oh my god, I hit the ligature. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one note sticking up. Ah. Oh my god, play! 
My chops are getting blown. I'm starting to feel numb. Oh my gosh, my fingers starting to get sluggish. Uh, How long has it been since you played? Huh? How long has it been since you played? The Alto, probably since October. Uh, the Berry, probably since December. There! <laughs> I think I will try to practice the song a little bit more. But at the moment, my chops are just blown. You're all good. Ugh. Oh, God. I got an intentation. I, I can't speak. I got a mark. I can feel where my teeth's been resting on my lips. Oh, Lord. An hour and 17 minutes. Yeah, I think I'll I'll try to practice more with the alto. But I got to get some food. And I got to get some chores done. Sounds good. Are you icky? Yeah, probably not. Huh. Uh, well, there you go. I played it. I tried, but, but my chops said hell no. I think I'm bleeding in my mouth, too. That's how you know you're playing good. You, your mouth starts bleeding. You are pay, playing fantastically. Do it till you like, draw blood. When I was choosing an instrument, like, I've played brass instruments before and, like, like blowing instruments. Yeah. I've never been a, a, I wasn't a fan because, like, you needed a lot of turns to play, like, a lot of songs. And, yeah. like, I wanted like, to sort of just... Play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I had a mouthpiece cover. Uh, I bet I do somewhere. I don't know. Oh, my God. Is the sax considered a woodwind or a brass? It's kind of both. Saxophone? We're considered woodwind because we have a reed, but we do a lot of stuff with the brass. Interesting. Okay. The, just like Barry. I remember being in class and like my teacher would be like, all right, low brass play. And I'm like, okay, I'm definitely, I'm low woodwind. And like my teacher would be like, you need to play. You're part of the low brass. I'm like, they're but they're brass. I'm low woodwind. And yeah, that's, that's funny. always got me. I thought matches. Oh, that always got me confused. I would be yeah, like bone. That was like run of the mill, but it was definitely higher than like the tubas, but it was lower than the trumpets. Yeah. Trombones was like in the middle. Dude, I hated the trombone. I absolutely, I don't hate a lot of things, but the trombone is a despicable instrument because, like, there's not a. I'm I was perfectionist, and oh yeah, this was this was before. I think this was a year before I got on Amino. 
uh, I had anxiety when I was on Amino. So this was like, this was like right when I started to get this anxiety stuff going on. So anxiety paired with perfectionist with an instrument where there's no markers for the notes. You just pulled out about that far and it should yeah. play that note. That rattled my mind. I was like, I hate that. I wish I was just a trumpet player where I press a button and it plays that note. I don't like, there's not even markers on it. And so I was very upset about that. And I quit halfway through seventh grade. I was just like, I can't do it anymore. I can't do the stress anymore. <laughs> Basically. I'm going to have where the live stream can see you because I've been talking for... There we go. Stay. Well, you can see this screen. Here. I'll have it to where you can see yourself. Yo, can I get uh, cultural appropriation for this? What? <laughs> That didn't help at all. No, I'm like just this blinding light. Well, you can see the face. It's just, oh, it's smaller on your screen. Oh, yeah. I finally got curtains. My boyfriend got me actual legitimate curtains instead of just blankets. <laughs> you had blankets before? Yes, I had blankets. There's so many holes up there from the thumbtacks of a... Uh, I had actual curtains, but they were see-through. So, like, I was always afraid to change my room because it was see-through. So, yeah. he was like, I spent this much money. It was, like, a lot of money. He was like, here's actual legitimate curtains. That's sweet. Yeah. I should have probably done this at the beginning so people could see you, too. Makes another live stream, haha. -ha. Oh yeah, what time is it over there for you? Uh, it is a ripe uh, ten twenty-three. You're an hour behind me. Oh, you're eleven. You're eleven twenty-three. Yeah, I'm at eleven. I'm eleven a.m. Boy, or eleven twenty-three. Yeah, dude, I, I like, I, I woke up and then I took a shower and I was like, oh, you're live streaming. I'll catch that when I get out of the shower. So and when I, I went live streaming at 10 o'clock, for you, it went at 9. Yeah, it was at 9. I was like, dude, that's not for a live stream. But yeah, I, I did see your, I, I saw like your last video, you know, like the 100 thing. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So I'll, I'll tune in for that. And then like, I, I didn't. The YouTube tip wasn't there for me because I'm not using the YouTube app anymore. I don't like it on my phone. Um, so I was just on YouTube, the web page, and I couldn't see the comment section, like, in, like the live. So I was like, I need to tell her to play Lost Woods. So I was just like, oh, play Lost Woods. You couldn't see the live chat? The live chat's yeah. right here. I think, I think it's because I was on the YouTube web page, not the YouTube app. I'm on the YouTube le uh, web page. Yeah, but you're on a computer. I was on my phone. Oh, edit. Live chat. Enable live chat. Well, yeah. All right. Could you see if you can say anything on the live chat? I might have fixed that. What? What's that? Could I mean, you do it? You are my <sighs> guinea pig on testing things. Uh, I do on my phone, so can you still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Alright. Uh, Alright. He's my guinea pig. <sighs> Today is only Thursday. Ah. Oh, yeah. So, have you been keeping track with all my videos? He did. Oh, Lord. His mouth moved, but no, there was nothing. Um, I still didn't see it. I didn't see it. Hmm. Well, it's only been about me. Did you put the thumbs up for me? 
I thought so. I thought when I saw the other person, I'm like, I have a feeling this is either him or my boyfriend's working, but he probably chimed in or my mom. <laughs> but I kind of knew it was you. You kind of knew it was me? Yeah. yeah I, I heard she knows I have been discovered. Uh, oh, yeah, I got buttons. I got Nezuko and I got Bakugo. You got buttons? I got buttons. I don't need see buttons. I'm obsessed with Bakugo. It's not even that cool. What do you mean? <laughs> it got defensive. <laughs> Oh, hell no. Where's my Bakugo pillow? No, you don't. Ah, uh, yes, I do. No body pillow. No, you don't. Not, not a body pillow. It's just a little I'm pillow of him. I'm calling Shane against your cabin. How, there he is. Damn, I found him pretty quick. How dare he? He's had... <laughs> Oh, no, all right, if you can see, and there's a back, too. There's a back, too, and he's in his suit. That, that's great. So, Mike, here's the thing. I don't I don't get the appeal for Black and Black. He kind of seems, like, stupid a lot. Okay, okay. So, I kind of agree with you. So, I'm going to, I'm going to, you can't really see me like that. Okay, so. Yeah. When I started watching My Hero Academia on illegal websites, there was so many ads popping up, but I was focused on to the anime. At first, I didn't like Bakugo because of how mean he was to Deku and stuff. And I was like, why are you being so mean? You're such an asshole. But, like, the reason why I got into the anime, because I kept seeing, like, hot pictures of him on it, TikTok. And I'm like, you know, he seems like my type. So I started watching and stuff, and I'm like, what the hell? Like, I got so aggravated with I was about to drop the fantasy. I was about to drop everything. Yeah, like... There we go. I don't see it. But, like... Oh, he's in the... Hi, bro. Hi. Hi! Feed me! But... Yes, at first I was like, he's such an asshole and stuff and everything. I also have an action figure of him. But you're like, okay, but he's a hot jerk. Yeah, he is a hot jerk. I got I got this. <laughs> it's so much detail. The See, booty. Any time like if there is an attractive person in a show and they just like go full blown evil. Not even evil, but they're just a jerk. Or, like, if they've got a certain personality that ruins it for me, I'm just like, nah, I don't like this character anymore. Yeah, I, I was, like, you know, I was really iffy with Bakugo at first because he was starting to get on my nerves how, like, he was constantly on Deku's case. He was, like, do a swamp dive off the building. I'm like, no! What the hell? But then, like, yeah. But when I got further into the anime, I, like, his uh, character... His uh, character, his mood started changing, and he started developing and stuff. Fun fact: the actual author made Bakugo who was trying to make him an unlikable person. He succeeded. I don't like him. But there's so many girls that are fangirling and having him like, like that's my husband. I'm like, do you realize he's like 16? At least, I mean. That's not the, I mean, yes, but then you get the, the other side, which is a bunch of guys simping for all the, the, the super decks. Yeah, 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 it just, he's a, he's a great lip, lipstick holder. <laughs> this ain't lipstick, but you get the gist, he's a good. You know, people, like, you're sweaty, like, you, like, try really hard and stuff. Yeah. See, yeah, but. but but he's so sweaty, his sweat explodes. Yeah. Nitroglycerin. Well, like, literally, I hated him at the beginning, but I was like, why does all these girls fangirl about him? And then when I got more into the anime, like, I started to realize that, you know, hey, he didn't hate, he don't hate Deku. He just didn't want, basically, there's a lot of theories that he was mean to him in middle school because he, 
you know, they're both childhood friends. And he didn't want his friend to be hurt trying to become a hero because he was quirkless. And so he thought, you know, being mean was the only way to go to get it through his head. And see, his life, his home life ain't really that good. His mom, like, always smacks him and stuff. His mom is, is as bad as him. But, you know, character development was real for him. Yeah, you want to get my hero? I think he's just a jerk. Shame. I think he just, I think he's just a little bit, a little bit selfish. I think he wants to be top hero. And uh, he doesn't, like, like, okay, I was watching this thing because my friends were watching it. It was a movie. I'm all caught up in the show. Uh, but I, I stopped caring around the last episode of the most recent season. But then my friends were watching it, so I, I watched it. It was, it was a movie thing. I'm up to par with the manga. I, I know everything that, you know, y'all don't know yet. Okay, okay. So, like, it was, it was, it was, the, it was whatever part where, like, uh, Deku temporarily gave him his powers or whatnot. And all this other oh, that stuff. was the movie. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, there was some talking about how there was this thing where it's like, you save the day, it's, you beat the villains to save the day, or you save the day to beat the villains, like, one of those, and that's Bakugo's thing, like, he's not trying to save the day, he just wants to beat the villains. I yeah. feel like that's, like, I mean, sure, but, like, I uh, don't I'm not a fan, not a fan, not a fan. Not a fan. Okay, not a fan. okay, so, okay, you might become, like, you might be a little lenient when the manga becomes uh, animation, because in the manga stuff, you know, he shit gets real. I'm not trying to spoil it for everybody, but shit gets. Oh, no, you, can, you can spoil it. I, I don't really care. I've lost interest at this point because, like, every episode is like the same uh, repeatable thing. It's like, oh man, I'm just, I just got to believe hard enough that I can and I will. And no one can finish the sentence like in five seconds. They've got to like drag it on, like, like. Okay, I understand oh, that, and but like, I gotta finish, I gotta finish. okay, that's 50% of it, and the other 50% is flashbacks to previous episodes. That's it, that's like every episode of My Hero Academia summarized. It, but like, you can use that formula and keep on making those episodes to the other side. I kind of understand what you mean. The manga is definitely better than anime anime because it goes into depth about things. Uh, but basically, we're uh, like season five, technically, for My Hero Academia. Um, shit gets real and stuff. And like the main villain come, he like is doing some shit. And Deku's doing everything in his power to save everybody in the city because it's just, it's a hell zone. And Bakugo actually, uh, I'm. Oh Lord, I ripped him apart on accident. <laughs> no, go back. I just want to see what your torso looked like. Uh, Bakuko actually basically like takes the bullet for Deku because he Bakuko learns Deku's secret that he's All Might's successor. And, you know, Bakuko was jealous at first, but then he kind of understood. So when he found out and stuff, he actually helps Deku be like, hey, you need to make the quirk your own. Like, you don't don't mimic All Might. He's like, make it your own. So he he's not being mean and stuff. Or like, he does. I guess that's just who he is. He'd be mean. But he's honestly trying to help Deku with uh, w problems and stuff. The best that he can. And that's what I like about his character development. That he tries his best. The best way he knows. Because like at home. You know he can't get a word in Ed's wise. His dad's okay. But his mom is like fuck off bitch. Why I gave birth to you smack. Oh I can. You think I'm kidding. I can so totally. I've seen some of the stuff about that. Yeah I know what you're talking about. Like. But 
I think it's like a whole. Okay, well, I haven't seen. I, haven't seen, I don't know what the manga. I haven't read the manga previously, so just based off the show and what's been out so far. Yeah. Uh, I think I think I enjoy Demon Slayer far more. Uh, oh my god, yes. Because, oh, yeah. All right. Because, Right here. Oh my god, food line is such the bomb. Hi, uh, my mask is very tight over my face. Skip! No, I still have the live stream going on behind us. Wait! Okay, there's a live stream. But here's his mom and stuff, and she just bitch slapped him. That's his dad. We don't want to frighten your teachers, do we? Shut it, you clown! Yeah, you to butt out. Oh, don't you even think about using your quirk, Kotsky? Jeez, some family dynamic. That's why I like what you exactly. All might so right, like some family dynamic. Like his mom. This is legit his mom. Yeah, he's got he's got a beta male dad. Yeah, the dad. I wonder if there's a. He said at the press conference. He's trying harder than anyone. Oh, there's Aizawa. So many people fan over him, and I'm like, why? I was worried about the kid, obviously, and didn't know what. His dad is like, psych. I just donated something. And she smacks him again. See. Bakugo, all right. So the author originally intended people to hate Bakugo. He wanted Bakugo to be a hated character. Oh my! Yeah, that worked for some people. Some people was like, "Oh my god, that's such a turn on." At first, I didn't like him, and then I was like, "All right." And when he started to get a little better, I'm like, "All right, I understand now." But like, at first I liked him, but then I really didn't like him. Here I am, just holding. You have an action figure. And like, like, okay, it's a few things to do with that. Oh, One, yeah. the music is the point. Two, every episode isn't, yeah, I see it. Every episode isn't just a rehash of the last episode uh, with like long extent dialogue. Like, yeah, some of that, but not an egregious amount. Uh, I think the world building is far more interesting than uh, the My Hero world. Uh, and I, I don't have a good sense of like the power scaling. I don't know what's the most dangerous stuff because it feels like every every like every time the villain the, the heroes beat the villains of that week, there's like even greater threat. And it's like, where were these guys before? Why are they just coming out now? Like, there's so much stuff like that where I just like I don't understand the power scaling world. Whereas in uh, Demon Slayer, it's all very like it's all very laid out for you. It's like okay, here's top tier demon, and now you're fighting like some of the lowest of the lows, and that's challenging. So you know you're gonna beat some higher ones, and those are gonna be really challenging. So I like that. And I also like the fact that like he doesn't even succeed his first time. Like like he was saved by the bell by the other guy. Like like. I get that, that, that like that you trained and stuff, but like it doesn't really compare to the one in the player. Like he really trains. Yeah. Hey man, what was this? Oh, is this fan made? I don't know. This was not in the final art. So in Yasha, going back to what you were saying about how you know. In My Hero Academia, it just seems like the same thing over and over again. Oh my god. And you know, his head turns. Uh, so, you know Inuyasha, the anime and the manga and all that? This little dude? For a second. I've never heard of that ever once. Are you kidding me? No. You've never heard of any No. No. I, it can't be that good if I haven't heard of it. 
I've already heard of all this. It's an, it's as old as me. So Okay. Okay, what wait, wait, this is important. What's your take on uh on uh uh Evangelion? What's your take on Evangelion? Never heard of it. Evangelion liar. I've never heard of it. I'm being so truthful. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Never heard of it. Okay. So oh my God! Yeah, there's so many girls. Uh. What? Now you just lied to prove a point. Uh, no, I'm not. I never heard of it. Right, there's sure. so many anime girls. You are not saying this. Yeah, no, I'm already past that point. I've got control of myself. Okay. Why is there all these subs? Well, I'm going to send this to you. This is the illegal website I watch Inuyasha on. You will at least give it a try, and I'll give it a try, whatever this other one is. Deal? Wait, what do I get in return? What are you going to watch? Whatever you just asked me. I didn't. Oh no! I was bringing that up because that's a really popular one that everyone talks about, and someone made me watch it, and I watched it. I was literally the worst one I've ever seen so far. Oh, well, I already so sent it to you already. Does not mean something that's good uh, for me. Uh, I've got to like it's got to have a certain vibe to it. They're, like my hero, I think it's kind of garbage. No Alright, uh, I will have to say with Inuyasha, I've watched the entire series about seven times in three years. I love they, they take their time, I think. There's a lot of character development and stuff. I really love like how, you know, I, I watch animes because the art and stuff. If the art and the animation's not that good, I don't want to watch it. Inuyasha kind of just captured my attention immediately when I started watching it. So, like, I kept continuing to watch it, and I just fell in love. I love how everything works and stuff. I, But, see, after the whole series is done now, and there's been, uh, you can watch the movies for free on Netflix if you had it, if you have it. Uh, damn, I need to get off here soon. Uh, but uh, after everything and like the kid, the next generation comes in. They made they just uh, came out with a season one of like the next generation, and that was so poorly rushed. It oh my god, it's just it's terrible. And I'm like watching it on Hulu and sub and stuff. I don't like sub because I'm more focused on trying to read it than watching. But it, it just. When when I when some dub versions came out, I listened to that. The voice acting for dub is terrible. The plot of this new one is terrible, in my opinion. You know, it's you're getting thrown around and you never get the answers that they first was talking about. It just it's all over the place. So so for me, like of all the anime I've seen, most of them this is going to sound weird. I don't, I mostly you don't even watch them for the quote unquote plot. And I mean that is in like overarching narratives of like, like there's two warring nations and stuff like that. But like, I feel like almost every one of those that has a plot like is very generic. And like, I don't even really care about that. Like, I feel like that could be cool like, a really cool, like, series where, like, there's no overarching plot. But, like, I feel like a lot of anime just have very generic ones, so I don't really watch for that. I do watch ones, though, that are, like, very based on, like, characters. Yeah. Uh, and philosophical concepts. Uh, strange scenarios or, um, or very unique stuff. And, and again, it, it does deal with artwork for me, but another thing is really music. If the music's not on point, then that can make a break for me. The voice, the voices lining up with anything that is playing. I hate it. I hate the lag. I hate the like the delay and stuff. If like the mouth is like ah, da, 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 and then then the voice is like delayed with that. I hate that. Um God, what was it? I was watching 
I I started watching Seven Deadly Sins. I I finished that all on Netflix. I gotta wait for season five now. There was parts in that anime that pissed me off because of like someone walking. All right, each time the foot hits the ground, you expect you expect a foot sound, right? No, it's like two sounds between one step, and I hate it. It was off, and I'm like, no. That's that's dead sound animation. I hate it so much. Oh, yeah. You was talking about Demon Slayer? I got Nezuko. Nezuko is pretty cool. I know, so, like, I can't remember where it was on. I think it was on Beagle. Have you ever been on Beagle? No. It's like, uh, it, it, it might be fun. It's like an app. Not even an app, it's a website where you can go and just talk to random people and you can, uh, on through video chat and you can sort of direct it if you want uh, to, like, have certain things. Um, there's a lot of trolls on there. There's a lot of, uh, crazy people, uh, just in general. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was talking to someone about anime and something like that, and they're like, are you one of the people that likes the Zuko? I was like, no. They're like, they're, and, and like they told me, like apparently, like a lot of people like Mizuka. I'm like, she's kind of like baby. That's kind of weird. Oh, I'm not good with the names yet because I got done with it. That one's the uh, girl that um, the butterfly chick adopted, basically, right? No, they're they're literally talking about Mizuko, the the demon girl. Oh, Nezuko. Yeah, I'm. Kind of baby, that's kind of messed up. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know how old she is. I haven't done any research, but you like. <laughs> oh, and I feel like if I look up how old she is, I'm gonna be pulling an FBI watch that. So I'm gonna do it. I'm on my computer. Go over here. How? What? <laughs> not attractive because it seems like. Maybe bird, 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 bird. I've gotta like, I've gotta like just tell her she's a bird, or else she like acts up. Hi, right. oh bird. lord. Uh, where is she? Demon slayers. Okay, butterfly. Oh lord, demons. How old are you? Come here. Damn, I'm on the uh, fandom. All right. Nezuko. Oh my god. Everything's glitching. I don't... Race. Demon. Human. Are you serious? How old is she? Biologically, she's 12. Chronologically, she's 14. What does... That's what it says. What does that even mean? I guess chronologically it means like throughout the season and like the ending age of whatever like it left off. So maybe at the beginning of it she was 12 and now she's 14. Yeah, because there was a two year time gap between um, the training. That's what that's what it is. And she sort of just went to hibernation during all that time. She's only five feet. <laughs> yeah, she's small. How much? She only weighs 99 pounds. Damn, girl. Yo, she's literally baby. She's literally like a 14-year-old. So anyone, so like, dude, people so far to Zuko, they, they should be put on no fly lists. Oh, my God. Bird. My computer fricked. Okay. That's probably the FBI freaking your computer because Pro- you looked up how Basically, both of my screens just go black at times. Uh, relatives. Tanjiro. That might be spoilers. Alright. I found... Uh, why is it glitching out? Stop! Wait, have you ever watched uh, the Prom- not The Promised Neverland? Um, <gasps> How's- oh. That one's Ask you know, Cooney. It's just... I okay. 
the uh, promised Neverland. I literally saw that on Netflix, and I kept seeing videos on TikTok. So I was like, "All right, I'm going to give it a chance." I binge watched all of it that's on Netflix in one night. Season one and season two. Yeah, uh, not season two. I think just season one, but there was a lot of episodes, and I binge-watched that entire season one at one night. Yeah, so I started watching that literally when it came out, because I was on YouTube, and you know the first thing at the very end of the first episode where, like, you see Dead Connie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I saw, like, a clip of, like, just, like, the reveal of Dead Connie on, on YouTube, and I was like, what's the... Like, I don't, I don't, like, seek out anime, but, like, if I see something that's just interesting, I'll just be like, what's this? So, uh, I saw on YouTube, and I'm like, that looks pretty metal. I want to see if, like, I can find this. I found the first episode, and I was like, yeah, that's pretty good. That's me, and, honestly. But I'm not sure how your experience with, was with The Promised Neverland, because mine, like, when I watched it, it was a thriller for me. Because, like, I was watching as it was coming out once a week, and it was, like, every episode would end off on, a, like, a cliffhanger. Yeah. And it would be like, oh, man, things cannot possibly get worse than they are now. And I understand. But this I, week just gets so my heart's racing every time. I understand that completely. See, I got interested in Seven Deadly Sins, and I just finished up to season four and it left the last episode left off on a major fucking cliffhanger i was there watching it on my ipad and stuff and it like it left off and it was like like till i see you again was like one of the main characters saying it and like it was like all right that's the end of the episode and i'm like are you kidding me and then it was like that's all we got and i'm like no so i was like looking on everything trying to find season five but season five is like all right i gotta end the live stream it's been almost two hours since i've streamed all right, so yeah, bye.